Hey, what's up guys? How you guys doing? I just felt like jumping on and doing a vlog. So this is actually just pretty random in this um, No format. I didn't you know spend time thinking about what I'm going to discuss Nothing just wanted to hang out with you guys sort of <laughs> so anyways um Right now I am do I'm, well, I'm doing a disc cleanup on my laptop and uh, the reason why is because I deleted Chrome browser off my laptop, which is sad because, you know, I'm a huge supporter of Google products. I think they work. Um, of course, there's always, you know, fears and stuff like that with, you know, major tech companies, but, you know, I got my faith in Google, just like those uh, people got their faith in Apple and those got their faith in uh, Microsoft. It's uh, all about just what you decide to rock with. And, so it's sad that I'm deleting Chrome and I replaced it with uh, Opera Browser just because I deleted Chrome off my phone and I downloaded Opera uh, Mobile Browser and it's like, it is so much faster searching the web. Um, and it's not Opera Mini because I know some people might be like, well, you think you downloaded Opera Mini? Like, no, I didn't download Opera Mini. I know what Opera Mini is. I've used it on feature phones six years ago as my browser of choice. But I downloaded um, the uh, Opera mobile browser, and I was surprised on how fast it was uh, bringing up web pages and things like that. Even on my home Wi-Fi, it brought it brought up pages like really quick, compared to Chrome browser, which is sad because you know Chrome is Google's thing, and you know I want to rock with Google as much on things. But you know you can't be like completely biased and just be like everything Google, you just can't. And so Chrome browser, definite no no. Um, I did, uh, you know, one of the things I will miss from the Chrome browsers is the fact of um, how integrated they are with, you know, your PC version and your Android version. But it's not like I'm not going to have that same uh, feature with Opera Mobile because I just created my account with Opera. And basically, um, so everything that's like on my PC, you know, I can pretty much grab it on my mobile device through the browser. They're, you know, they're synced together in that, that form or fashion. One thing that I really, really, really think is really neat about the Opera Mobile browser is the turbo feature, which, you know, you turn it on, it's supposed to make um, uh, pages load even faster. But what I really think it's doing is it's doing that, that data compression that Opera is known for. And so, but I mean, you know, it works. Why not, right? So. I don't know, probably like in the next week or so, I might do a video review of both uh, Opera Browser for PC and Opera Mobile Browser and how they, how they work together. For those people who don't know about Opera, I mean, I know most people do, but they may not. Uh, so we'll, we'll see. And I'm going to see if it actually integrates with my, uh, my original Nintendo Wii, because I know the browser on that is also by Opera. And so we're going to, uh, I'm just going to try it out within this week and then I'll do like a review video or something. I think it's really funny when some people pronounce it as Oprah. We've got Oprah Mobile. <laughs> like when did Oprah become a mobile browser? <laughs> bad joke, bad joke. Smack. Anyways, um, so I was watching another video earlier today and, you know, it was just weird. Uh, John Rettinger and this other person... Forgive me if I don't know know them by names. They did this whole debate thing about iOS and Android, and then Armando left a comment on Google Plus on it and was talking about you know if they want to ever do a, another debate with iOS and Android, um, count him in on it. You know, like bring him in, bring him on board. Really, honestly, guys, is is this iOS Android war getting old or what? You know, uh, I think it's just pretty ridiculous. You know, one is going to have what one has that the other one doesn't and the other one's going to have it and of course they're going to borrow from each other I mean I think that's just what really gets to me is when uh, you know when people bring that up like oh this was an Android feature before it came to Apple and people are like oh this was an iPhone feature before it became to Android and it's like if you guys are that nitpicky about it do you guys ever like protest to Burger King and McDonald's Domino's and Pizza Hut KFC and Church's Chicken I mean Taco Bell, Ta Del Taco, and freaking Taco King, and what else is there out there? Taco Bueno, if you're you know in the Midwest. I mean, like, do you guys actually protest these things and get nitpicky on it? 
Like, oh, that taco's got sour cream. Sucks. Taco Bell all the way. Fire sauce. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Um, true. My, my channel, obviously I rock with Android. No one is going to change that in me. No, You can leave a comment about why. You can give me a, a million reasons why iOS is so much better. I am not going to conform and change. You know, I like to be the odd man out. I like to be the underdog in it. And even though Android has overtaken iOS in certain things, it will forever be the underdog. And I'll tell you guys why. The reason why Android will forever be the underdog is because as long as mainstream people rock iPhones... And, of course, their influence influences the other masses to rock iPhones. Then, no matter how well Android does, it will forever be the underdog operating system. And that will never change. And I think that's that's total BS. That's so the you know? I mean, why? Uh, obviously, you know, it's just Apple's got a pretty good marketing team. They got a pretty good BS team too. Is really what I, what I want to call them. <laughs> they they BS a lot. Uh, but I mean, you know, everyone is gonna have their preference, and I really think that these uh, fanboy fangirl wars ought to knock it off already. It's old. It's just bleh. It's whatever. Um, it, you know, and, and even some of the most iconic figures on YouTube who have solely been about Android have eventually conformed to iOS and, and iPhone so regardless if they want to go back and say well my experience with it wasn't that great you still switched over and that counts for something so let's just like die it down a little bit you know I mean I I've, I fully get it that you know competition creates innovation but you know, at the same time, too, it's just like, well, whatever. Um, you know, everyone's spending time on trying to bring the next big thing, and now we're like dipping into so much in technology. And I think, I think focuses are just really thrown out in different places. So where the it, where the the focus should be, it's not. So that's that's kind of sad. Last but, not, last but not least, I mean, I, um, I know I said I was going to do the comparison between the G-Stylo and the Moto E, and I didn't do it. I apologize. Uh, I'm actually not going to do that one just yet. Uh, I want to do one that, you know, I figured should go first, and that would be uh, the Vault against the G-Stylo. Why not put, you know, the younger one that will... Actually, this is the younger one, but why not put the older one against the younger one, the bigger one against the smaller one, and see uh, how they fare out. I mean, you know, the, the LG Vault is the most underrated phone out there. I, I get, I don't get annoyed, but I get a little, like, agitated when people really knock this phone before they ever, you know, even try it. I mean, there's just a massive bunch of people who, like, at first glance, it's like, oh, it's cheap, it's this and that, 8 gigs of storage, it's not going to work, yada, 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 yada. I mean, there's so much... Things that you could do with the Vault that you know makes this you know a true underdog phone, very underrated, and I think it's still one of the most best phones I've ever owned. And yes, I do switch back to my LG Vault just to rock it. I mean, the the design of it, the form factor, just what it's packing, you know, internally spec wise and everything. This is just a great pickup. Sometimes, you know, if I don't want to rock a phablet, then I will rock a smartphone, and the LG Vault is my is my uh, drug of choice. So. Uh, nine nine minute pretty much rant vlog whatever uh, thank you guys if you guys took the time to watch it I'll see you guys next time.